Question number two. Here is a biased five-sided spinner. When the spinner is spun, it can land on red, it can land on orange, it can land on yellow, uh, green, and blue. Like so. We have the probabilities for three of them already given. Red, orange, and yellow are given like so. The probability that the spinner lands on green is the same as the probability that the spinner lands on blue. So what that means is that whatever number is in green and blue, they must equal each other. So because they're unknowns that we're trying to find, we're going to give them a letter. Let's give them the letter X. And in order to figure out what that probability is, we take the fact that we know that all of the probabilities must add up to 1. So our 0.4 for red plus a 0.2 for orange, 0.1 for yellow, plus whatever green is, plus whatever blue is, is equal to 1. Our equation will simplify to give us 0.7 plus 2x is 1. We take away 0.7 from both sides, which will make 0, um, 2x is 0.3. And if we half that, x ends up equaling 0.15. And the probability that the spinner lands on green, um, given the fact that x was that probability, gives us an answer of 0.5. Next part. Jenny spins the spinner 200 times. Work out an estimate for the number of times the spinner lands on red. So we take our probability of red, which from our table is 0.4, and we multiply that by 200 because of the fact that we are going to do this experiment. We are going to spin the spinner 200 times. So if there's a 0.4 chance of it happening once, then there'll be a 0.4 times 200 times times 200 chance of it happening over the course of 200 spins. If we do that, we end up with 80 as our answer. Done.